Hello, my most amazing artists. Back in the studio, pausing. If you don't know, that's where you go. Hello, my most amazing Christy. Um, we are going to paint some rainbows today. Um, I need to show you what you need to go and gather. So first up, if you've got watercolor paints, you need those. You need a pot of water, clean water. You, I'm going to use one brush today. It's got a point, pointy tip. It's not a big brush, but you can have a couple of brushes on hand. Paper towel if you have any. If you don't have watercolors, you can use textures. So you can use any textures that you have. These ones are quite thick, chunky textures. You can use smelly textures, any textures you have. The ones that clip together, don't use permanent markers. So if you're going to use the textures, you'll need a snap lock bag. And I sit my snap lock bag on a paper plate. I'll show you how to use those in a little bit. We're going to make a picture full of rainbows. I'm going to see if I can bring you closer so you can uh, have a look. And we're going to cover the whole page in lots and lots of rainbows. We don't need a pencil today. I'm going to get you to pause me. I remember today. So pause me now and go and gather your supplies. I'll be waiting for you to get back. Unpaused. Right, you should be organised. Um, we are going to watercolour paint. I'm going to dip, oh, actually, I'm going to show you, if you don't have watercolour paints, what to do. So, I'm going to colour in part of my snap lock bag. And I put some red down there. Can you guys see that? And colour that in. I need to dip my paintbrush in the water and it turns it into watercolour. How cool is that? Then, really, really anywhere on your page, I'm gonna pop some outlines for some rainbows. Can be any, as big as you like, as small as you like. We're just gonna pop some random rainbows in. I'm going to jump back over and use my watercolour paints, but you guys know how to use the textures if you don't have watercolour paints now. So I'm going to hold my palette, I'm going to try to make my watercolour paints not puddly. So I don't want really big puddles in here. If we were in art class today, I would say, my most amazing artist, why don't we want puddle, why don't I want puddly paints? You guys are okay because you're sitting down on a flat surface. But why wouldn't I want really puddly paint? Some very clever artists would put their hand up and say, of course, Christy, yours will drip. And mine will drip. And while most of the time I'm really good with drips, I don't really want mine to be drippy today. If it happens though, it's okay. We're gonna roll with it. So for, uh, we've done red. You can choose whatever colours you like for your rainbows. They totally don't have to be traditional rainbows. I'm just going to switch my music down a little bit because I don't know how bad or good that will be for you guys to hear. It might have been a little bit loud, I don't know. This is the first time I've played music while I'm making a video. So you guys will be able to tell me because this is totally unscripted. I'm doing some little lines around this rainbow. Um, I need some more water. I'm gonna put some lines in here. I might even make an orange, start an orange one there and do a tiny wing one there. I think you guys can see that okay, because I can see it okay. So each time I change colours, I'm washing my brush. Watercolour washes off really easy. I'm going to bring this scooch a little bit closer. And this is, I'm still, this is still new for me. 
So I'm still learning and I'm like, I'm really, really trying hard. Um, so I'm hoping that you will be patient with me and we can learn together. I'm going to put some yellow in now. So I was saying, if you don't, you don't have to do traditional color rainbows. So if you really like all the blues and greens or the cool colors, you can totally make your page full of cool color rainbows. Doesn't have to be traditional rainbows. If you like really warm colors, you can do that too. You can make all of your page all warm colors. I kind of like traditional rainbows, but I'm mixing it up a little bit. Um, and I should tell you all my art class knows so but if any of you big humans are watching with your art class um, little humans if music comes on and I like it sometimes I sing I'm really bad at singing I'm really good at colouring but I'm really bad at singing um, but it doesn't stop me so I apologise in advance that you might have to listen to my singing so what we want to do is just make it interesting. So this is why I'm doing some little lines around the outside or the inside of the rainbows. And I might dance too. Sometimes I dance. Ask your little humans if they've been to my art classes, they know. Sometimes they dance too, which is kind of cool. I like it a lot. So. If you can't hear the music, there is music. I'm not just dancing randomly, although sometimes I do that too. Um, so what we want to do is we want to fill our whole sheet with interesting rainbows. I think that you guys, yeah, I feel like you can see that part. And because I'm a lefty, sometimes it's hard to not put my hand in somewhere where I've painted. So I'm trying to be really careful about that, which sometimes makes my lines go a little bit wonky, but I'm totally okay with that as well. Because it makes, it, it makes my artwork look interesting. I'm gonna change color again. I might bring you a little bit closer so you can have a closer. Oh, that's probably really bad. Yeah, it's it's a bit hard. We'll keep going anyway. I mean, it was I didn't mean it was bad artwork. I mean, it was bad for me to move that because you went a bit wobbly there. And I'm not rushing. All of my little humans out there, you know that. If I take my time, I do my best work. And I can go I'm going to actually switch this song up because I like it. So you guys can paint with me. Because we play this one in class a lot. That means I've got no drips. Oh, 
Oh, super duper clever. I'd be able to like switch between me painting this and time lapsing it for you so it goes really fast. But I don't know how to do that yet. I got, that's on my to do list to learn how to do. For now, I just paint with you. You get to listen to the tunes. Oh, I actually wanted to tell you guys too that if you know a big human that would like to paint with you, they're totally more than welcome to paint with you. I would love that. It might be a really nice thing for us to all paint together while we can't be in the studio. So if your human, if your big human has time, or you know a big human that might want to paint with you, totally say, hey big human, do you want to paint with me? So that one went well wonky. I'm actually going to join that one up because it was really wonky. So in art class, we don't actually have, in my art class, I don't think I've said this yet in the videos, but all of my little artists, my amazing artists know, we don't actually have mistakes in art class. Impossible, totally impossible, cannot do it. Um, if you're new, I would say to my artists, what do we have instead of mistake? We don't have mistakes, sorry, it's impossible to make it. And some clever, amazing artists would go, we have Happy accidents, Christy. So what I mean by that is, if you think you have totally made a mistake, or sometimes I say, bug it up your art, I will go to you. I wonder what would happen if, and we'd either turn it into something different, we might make a different choice to add a different color. Um, but, so it's actually impossible to make a mistake in art, sorry. That might upset lots of art, art people, I don't know. But that's okay, because in my art class, you're an artist, you can't make mistakes. I kind of like the way that that's looking at the moment. Um, we might add, I might add just a couple more colors. Orange one down here, then over the top. You can do as many as you like. I kind of like these little strokey lines. It takes me a little while to do these, but that's okay. Because I'm being really careful. And if I load up the paintbrush, it will last nearly the whole way around with those colors. So I'm pretty happy with those rainbows at the moment. Now we have to fill in all of our, I'm gonna call them confetti rainbow drops. So the rest of where the white is, ah, oh, actually, before we do that, I'm just, I've just noticed I've got some hearts inside these rainbows. We need to do that first, sorry. You can tell this is unscripted, right? I know, and I love that you are being patient with me while I'm learning. And I'm trying not to make any puddly ones there. I love this greeny color, it's like an aqua color. So when I, draw, when I do the heart, if I just push down, I'm gonna bring a piece of paper close so you can see, and hopefully you'll be able to see up close. That might be easier. So when I go, I'm just pushing down a little bit with my brush. It's like a full brush stroke and then another brush stroke to join it. And just like magic, it makes this amazing heart. So that's what you're gonna do to fill in some of your rainbows. You don't have to if you don't want to. Um, and I'm actually just had a thought, I'm gonna do three in this one, which is kind of cool. Yeah, I like that. Um, and I, I'm going to do some red hearts because I like red hearts. So 
So one full brush stroke down and then full brush stroke down. Um, if you're using a pointy brush like me, that's how you will get those, those ends. I can see that one wants to drip, that heart wants to drip so bad. Lucky I caught it. I'm going to clean my brush once more and pop a couple of yellow hearts in because it's a sunshiny colour. And that might do. I can come back and look at it and decide if I want to pop some more hearts in. But now, now is when we're going to do the confetti raindrops. So I'm pretty much going to use all the colours and I'm just going to do little dabs. Hopefully I haven't loaded up my brush too much. Really random all over my page. I'm trying to make them straight, although a couple of them are gone wonky, but it's okay. Totally okay. So I'm doing all the purple first and I'm going to tell you my, art, my amazing artists know this most of them. I'm not a fan of purple. When I was 12, that was my favourite colour and I overdid it then. My cousin and I wanted purple and pink Ferraris. So I, I think, I can't remember which one of us wanted a purple one with a pink lightning bolt and which one of us wanted a pink one with a purple lightning bolt, but that's what we wanted. And I overdid purple. So I'm not the biggest fan of purple anymore. So if you're not a fan of a colour, you don't have to use it. I like it on this page because it just kind of fits with everything else. I'm going to do blue now. So I've done orange, purple, I'm doing blue. Again, if you've done all warm colours, you could do the opposite and do cool colour confetti raindrops or you could do warm colors whatever you like it's it's about it's your art so you get to choose i was going to use orange again i've already used orange let's do some red ones little raindrops all over well they can they're like confetti happy raindrops And sometimes it's hard for me to see because I'm painting side on. So I should come back and have a look where you are. So I can balance it a little bit better. Change colour. I'm going to do yellow. That makes it nice and bright. It pops out. Oh, that's a wonky one. That's okay. We'll survive. It's tricky to paint standing up sometimes. So hope you guys should be able to have yours down on a flat surface. Oh, do you know what? I've just thought of, I didn't tell you to get your paper ready at the start. You need paper. <laughs> so, so I'm figuring that you knew that already. I don't know. Yeah, I'm pretty sure I didn't when I told you what supplies you need. Anyway, we'll get there. I will remember. I'm doing some lime green confetti drops now. It's looking pretty cool actually. I like it. A little bit of green up there. Yeah, that's cool. Okay. So the last thing that you need to do, I don't know if I, if I bring this close, can you see? Yeah, can you see the hearts? They're cool, huh? I should go like this. I like those three hearts. Yeah, I'm glad I thought of that. So the last thing that we need to do is to sign it. Um, now, in my art class, you are allowed to sign your artwork anywhere. I'm going to grab a Sharpie because I'm going to sign one of the Sharpie today. And I'm going to, oh, I'm going to pick a blue Sharpie because I can see where I want to sign my name. I want to sign my name down here. You can totally sign it wherever you like. Sometimes, um, 
think when you yeah anyway sign it wherever you like so my i always sign it's gonna be tricky because it's still wet so i'm going to take it down and hopefully all that bit's dry i always sign mine with a love heart and write love christy so i'll show you, i'll bring it close so you guys can see can you see the love heart and my name but so you have to sign it um, using your name you can write your first name your last name you can actually use your initials if you want but when you're an artist in my art class you must sign your artwork because that will make me happy and it should make you happy too um, I'm gonna say the studio and I are missing you all hopefully maybe some new humans are joining in and having a paint if you ask your human really nicely Please, my big human, will you send me a picture? Will you send Christy a picture of my artwork? I would totally love that. That would make me so happy. It would make my heart sing. Um, and until next time I see you, bye.